Forms and Types and Systems of Government. This is the vocabulary that we will be discussing throughout the PowerPoint. So what is government? Government is a system by which a state, nation, or community is governed. There are different types and forms and systems of government. So if we're talking about who rules, it's going to be a type or form of government, but a system of government is where the power is distributed. So right now we're gonna talk about types and forms of government. So in an autocracy, auto means self. So this is self-rule. An autocracy is the type of government where one person has unlimited power. Examples include dictatorships, absolute monarchies, like where one person rules. Modern examples would be like North Korea, Vietnam, and Cuba. And obviously under Germany's, under Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, was, you know, the, the ruler, so that would be a good example of an autocracy. In a dictatorship, a government, this is a government where one person has total control. Again, Hitler's Germany would be another good example of a dictatorship. In a dictatorship, there are no elections, even though they can obtain power through an election. They can ban all opposing parties, and sometimes even fake elections are rearranged. For communism and socialism, in communism, this would be a society with no social classes. All property is owned by the community and all people have equal economic and social statuses. In socialism, this is an economic system with no social class, but the government is responsible for economic planning and people can also own private businesses. People can also elect their own leaders. So they're both similar that they have like no social classes. However, in communism, all property is owned by the government, okay? And all people have that equal, you know, economic and social status. Um, modern examples of communism are China, Cuba, Laos, and Vietnam. There are two types of democracies. A democracy is a government ruled by the people. A direct democracy is where citizens rule directly without using representatives. So for example, each person casts their own vote for proposed laws instead of like electing representatives to cast their vote for them. The earliest form of a direct democracy was in Athens, Greece. In a representative democracy, this is also known as a republic. This is a government in which people rule through representatives. So we elect people in the House of Representatives or in the Senate or as president based on like their beliefs, like what if, you know, what they believe on, you know, with certain their, their platforms. And if we agree with those, then we want to elect those people to represent us. Modern examples of democracies include Norway, Iceland, Sweden, New Zealand, Finland. And of course, we in America also have a representative democracy. That's why we're also known as a republic. A monarchy is a form of government where a king or queen rules. In absolute monarchies, there's a king or queen that has total control. In a constitutional monarchy, the monarch's ruling is limited by a constitution that outlines the laws. Most monarchies are constitutional monarchies nowadays. Examples of constitutional monarchies would include the United Kingdom, Belgium, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Oligarchies are types of governments ruled by few people. Oli means few. Examples include Sparta, but modern day examples would include South Africa during the 20th century. A theocracy is a government ruled by religion. Theo is religious, so ruled by religion. Modern examples include Saudi Arabia, Iran, and the Vatican. And now these are systems of government. So remember, systems of government is... How is the power distributed? In a federal system of government, this is a system of government where power is shared between the states and the national government. In a confederal system of government, this is a system of government where power is located within the individual states. Remember, under the Articles of Confederation, that was a confederal system because all the, pow the power were within the states. In a unitary system of government, this is a system where, all, where almost all power is located within the central government. And in a parliamentary system of government, this is where the power lies within the legislator and the, the country leader. 